Hello everybody, this is BC94XYZ, and today we are playing one of my favorite games, The Lost Cases of Sherlock Holmes. This should be fun. Hold on, let me just open this quickly. There we go. Would it be too forward to ask your name? No, it would not. Um, let's do that. And today. Alright, there's the Zooch Emerald. That's, we have a bunch of cases to solve. If we find a hat within each one of them, we get a bonus round. So, Zooch Emerald. Precious Zooch Emerald mysteriously disappeared after tea time. Can Holmes discover the most sure footed thief of his career? I say, Holmes, was that the Duchess of Ashby Dale Zooch I saw leaving as I arrived? It was indeed, Watson. A matter of missing jewelry. The Zooch Emerald. Worth some £50,000. Good heavens, Holmes. The bubble was stolen? Or so it appears. Come, Watson, the game's afoot. Alright, so let me just click on the alley. Yeah. Right. To compare the two things, hold on a second here. Oh, they're gone. Turn the volume. Turn the music way down, Jesus. Alright, so now we have to find the differences. So, for instance, one of them would be this glove right here. As you can see, they go down here. This is the other one. Let's see here. The Zooch Emerald, one of the largest single stones of its kind, is most valuable piece of jewelry I own. It disappeared after tea time yesterday. Um. Hmm. Yes, Sherlock's Pipe gives you an extra hint in the mission. You get five each round if you find more. I believe these gems need to be put back where they belong. Alright. So this is pretty easy. Just put the gems back where they belong. So I'm going to be doing walkthroughs like this now more often because I have a new computer. I'm not going to be doing much shooting games. I'm going to mostly be doing hidden object games like this. Um, because it just makes more sense. Looking, I don't see any other differences. Hold on. Hey, stop! Jesus, there we go. There's one. Alright. Mrs. Bakewell bought me fresh scones at the time. She's a wonderful cook. Good to know. The other glove. Right. Those buttons belong to Miss Topkins, the coachman. She was kind enough to open, help open my window when it was jammed shut. Interesting, I believe I detect some small white hairs. Alright, there we go. I may have formulated a theory as to the identity of the culprit. I will need your help in examining the room adjacent in order to further my theory. Let's see if we can find these items I suspect are in this room. So this is now more the hidden object part of it. you got to find the um, objects that are right here. Um, so let's take a look, shall we? There's the cap. Another pipe. Um, alright, let's see here.
Haha, it appears to be locked. Alright, let's see they're all up. Pretty straightforward. I say, Holmes, it quite baffles me that a thief would take the most recognizable piece of jewelry and leave behind so many other valuable items. What? Okay, no. Um... Just let you all know, this changes. The location of the items changes every single time you play it, so that's why I have no idea where everything is. That is a really annoying sound, isn't it? Yeah, by the way, if you click too many times, time goes away. Just thought I'd show you that now. Um. Mm -hmm. Is there a teacup? I thought there was a teapot, but okay. There's a teapot. Mr. Brantley, Mr. Brantley usually retrieves the tea tray at dinner time. Your butler? Yes, for the last 12 years. Mouse trap. We need one more spoon. As you can see, I'm trying to do this without hand sear. What, oh, another thing you can do if you seem to do this, you can use the. Um, Oh, the mic, the magnifying glass. It does help. However, I'm gonna be a hard ass and just do this. There's the other silver spoon. The spoons must have been left by the maid. Miss Michaels was polishing the silver man this afternoon. That's a tulip. I didn't think of. Right. Freshly cut tulips from your garden, I presume. Yes, my gardener, Mr. Green, planted the bulbs last September. Bad form, Holmes, not informing us of your theory. You know my pride, and I hate to expose myself to ridicule until I am certain of success. Your ladyship, do excuse us. Watson, let us return to Baker Street at once. Alright. This is where we find out the culprit. Okay, so basically what we have to do is match these people according to categories, and then they explain how to do that, blah, blah, blah. So... White hair and female. Right, here's my glasses. And then there we go. Perfectly splendid. So it's like that. It's not hard. Alright, so then you have to look at these and memorize each one, and then whichever one is different is the one you eliminate. That's it. That's it. Like that. Okay, this one. That's it. Right. Aha, nice uh -huh, so the cat did it. So the cat is our culprit. Alright. Your ladyship, I am happy to return the Zooch Emerald. But how? And you promise to identify the thief. As to that, I draw your attention to these distinctive white hairs caught in the clasp of the brooch. The Empress of Persia? Indeed. I was able to retrieve the brooch and the catnip toy from the mouse hole. And I dare say, someone with better tools might find more in there as well. I'm simply speechless. How appropriate. Seems the cat's got your tongue as well. Congratulations. Alright, so that's how you play this game. And I'm going to be playing the rest of them. So that's mission number one.